my friends, it's TAC. And today we're going to take a look at the Sig Sauer P938. hard plastic case, like most of the SIGs do. Uh, comes with a little bit of oil, a manual. Doesn't come with an extra mag, which I thought was freaking ridiculous. Come on. This thing's like 700 and some odd dollars. This thing should have an extra magazine. Uh, now this is the BRP version, black or BRG, black rubber grip. Comes with a like a Looks like a Hogue style. I'm not sure if it's actually a Hogue. It does look like it though. So this comes with the extended magazine. So you got the pinky rest. So instead of six rounds, this one will hold seven. Comes with a little outside the waistband holster. It's got a little retention screw right there so you can adjust it, the tightness. Uh, I tried it a couple times, but with something like this, it's gonna be inside the waistband. I'm not gonna have it outside the waistband. I'm not going to carry a little gun like that outside the waistband. I'd rather carry something a little bit bigger. Now this is an all metal frame gun. It's an aluminum frame. It's single action only. So it's pretty much like 1911 style. You got to carry it cocked and locked. I'll go over the technical specs real quick. Trigger pull on this is usually 7.5 to 8.5 pounds. The overall length is 5.9 inch. The overall height is 3.9. The width, this is pretty darn skinny, 1.1 inches. Uh, barrel length is three inches even, with like a four inch sight radius between the sights. Uh, like I said, aluminum frame, uh, the slide is nitron, and the slide's also uh, stainless steel. Give you some close ups of this thing. It's got some serrations right here to, to aid in cocking. It's got the SIG night sights on it, it came stock. They work really well. Uh, one negative thing about this, maybe it'll work itself out, but the trigger is a little bit, it's not super smooth. It's actually smoother than it was when I first got it. So let's hope it keeps on smoothing out. I got approximately hmm, about 500 rounds through this. Not too much. I've only had it for like two, three months. So the grip has a really nice shape. It is a little dinky gun but I can just get my pinky on there. So you can get a good grip on this. Like I said, single action only, so it's gotta be cocked and locked. It's got ambidextrous safeties, both sides, so whatever you prefer. I like guns with beaver tails. It helps keep me out of the way of that slide. Some people don't like them, I do. Got a little bit of traction here on the back. You see how, the, how it flares out a little bit? Fill your palm nicely, even though it's small. I'm usually not a fan of subcompacts, but I needed something for that roll, and I chose this one. It just removed the magazine. Obviously, check to see if it's loaded. Come on, I shouldn't even have to say crap like that. It's clear. Okay, now this one's here's your uh, the slide catch. And there's a little notch right there. You got to line up. I got to hold it a little awkward. Get it right to about there. I don't know if you can see that. This is the hardest part, is getting this little guy out. Man, I just cut my fingernails too, so. <laughs> there you go. Let it forward slowly. It'll come right off, just like so. There's your spring. Now be careful, tons of tension, as usual, just like any other semi. Now, just as a warning, this spring is really freaking long. So be careful putting this back on because you don't want to bind it or bend it or do something bad. There's your little guide rod. It is actually a metal guide rod, which is cool. Here's your little barrel, little three-incher. That's what she said. There you go. Pretty dirty, as you can tell. I haven't cleaned it yet. So I wanted to break it in first before I cleaned it. Put it back together, just the reversal. Like I said, be very careful with this. Try to guide it. Guide it and aim it. Just get a good grip, because how these things are. 
Come on, wuss. Guide it in carefully, and I'm having some problems. There you go, just like that. Make sure it's seated all the way, just like that. Now to put it back onto the frame, make sure this little lever is down. Match it right up to the, the rails, and right when you get it right there, just give it a little press down so you can sneak it right underneath. After you get that in there, give it a function check, make sure everything's cool. We've got a snap cap. I like to do this just to make sure everything's working well. Triple check, yes, it's a snap cap. Dry fire, nice. Safety works. Nothing. Awesome. Okay, let's take this thing outside and try. Time to take a couple warm-up shots with this. I haven't shot it in a little while. So, there's a 10-inch target behind me, and we're about 13 yards away. It's funny, half the time my first shot of the day, I like flinching. So, <laughs> hey. Yeah, you guys can see me? Okay, cool. Let's warm up with this little guy. Let's see how she does. This thing is ac actually the most accurate little pistol I've ever shot. Let's do it. One miss, not too bad for a warm up. Now there's a close up of the shots, one miss, but hey. I think that was my, my second or third shot, I just totally whiffed it. But not too bad, especially for a three inch barrel. This thing really surprises the hell out of me. So we'll take a couple more shots. I missed the last one? No way. <laughs> I think I did. But not too bad. Uh, rapid fire, it's, little guns are uncontrollable a lot, but this thing's actually not bad. I got a good grip on it. As long as you keep that thumb away from that freaking slide, I usually use this spot for a memory spot, but yeah, it's pretty controllable. Next, we're just going to do a quick mag dump. Just to see how controllable it is. We don't hit every time. No big deal. Let's, it's just for fun. So cock lock, ready to rock, safety off. Let's do this. Wow, that was seven? That was pretty fast. I did a little pause for some reason. But yeah, it was really controllable. Now we'll go back to 15 yards. Now, guns like this, I'm surprised something so small can shoot accurately at 15 yards. I was actually hitting uh, three inch plates, not every time, but like at least three out of five at 25 yards, which I was so impressed, man. I mean, serious. So let's just take our time. We'll do seven shots at 15 yards and see how we do. Mess, but the rest hit so yeah this thing is pretty friggin amazing clear I mean seriously this thing is I'm very impressed with this little guy uh, I know it's a lot of money 700 and some odd dollars some people get it cheaper that's cool high five to you uh, I had to pay you know up in this state you pay out the nose for everything but to me it's worth it you want a good reliable concealed carry you need something really little. I love this thing. I know there's a lot of other ones out there that are way cheaper. You don't need a $750 freaking little carry gun. But man, I love this thing. I just can't believe the accuracy out of three inch barrel. Uh, back in the day, I'd struggle to do that with a four inch. But this little guy does a lot. So in the end, would I recommend something like this? A little SIG P938. Hell freaking yeah. Now I know it's expensive, so if you can't afford something like this, just go with the next best thing or whatever. I'm not saying this is the best pocket carry, but for me it is. The accuracy is awesome. The fit and finish is beautiful. The ergonomics are great. It's been flawless. I heard in the earlier ones they had some problems with something, 
I'm not sure what it was, but I haven't had any problems with this, which is cool. <laughs> Especially for 700 some odd bucks, you don't want a gun that doesn't function right. And this thing has been great. So if you're into SIGs and you like this kind of stuff, I'd highly recommend this one. As always, I appreciate you guys stopping by, visiting your brother Tack. And until the next time we meet.